Hello and welcome to Bits Box World, builds made easy. Hi, I'm Tom and today we've got Space Marines versus Crute in a Kill Team Battle Report. Really excited for this. And my son and I are the generals for today's battle. He's here with me. Hi, you're going down. There we go, a bit of fighting talk from General Ezra there. Uh, so we went for the Escalating Hostilities mission from the core rulebook. Really like the idea of the mission objectives on this, that they you get more and more victory points as the battle goes on and more turning points are done. It just draws everything in for lots of carnage in the middle of the fight. So my son went with the Space Marine Tactical Kill Team, and I've gone for the Crute Far Stalker Kin Band. Really love these models. Let's have a look. Space Marine Tactical Kill Team. He chose Tactical Marine Sergeant, equipped with a chainsaw bolt pistol. Three Space Marine Warriors. They've got bolt guns and fists. A Tactical Marine Gunner. This guy has a plasma gun. Really hate the idea of that. And a Tactical Marine Heavy Gunner. He's got a heavy bolt up. Horrible, horrible. So, Ezra, who do you think is going to be the best in your kill team? I think I'm really looking forward to the heavy bolter. Yeah, I don't like the idea of that heavy bolter, but there we go. Let's have a look at my Crute Farstalker kin band then. My kill team is going to be led by a Crute kill broker. He comes with a plasma rifle and blade. And uh, I basically went for every option that you can in this kill team so they've got 11 different operatives and i went for them all only doubling up on the hounds so i've got two crew hounds these guys have got operatives for every different scenario and i've gone for a mixture of melee damage as well as long range damage hopefully i'll be able to take out those space marines who are incredibly tough They've got a lot of wounds in the Space Marine Army, and uh, my guys are quite squishy in comparison. Both Ezra and I did give our kill team some extra equipment as well, and they both had their own tac ops. The Kinban comes with some bespoke tac ops for them, whilst the Space Marines used from the core rules. Ezra got the initiative then, so he was able to choose which side of the battle. He chose the left-hand side to set up his Space Marines, and uh, I obviously set mine up on the right. My plan was to get my melee guys in on him as quickly as possible, but I was quite nervous of his heavy bolter and his plasma gun. Ezra, what were you most wanting to do? What was your plan? My plan... I put them on e either side, so because his dogs were on either side. So. Yeah, the crew hounds. Yeah, they were going to get in on you. Yeah, so I was really worried they would just tear me apart. So I got them on each side so I could kill them each round and stuff. And you really liked the strategic ploy, didn't you? Which yes. one were you using? Bolter Discipline. Bolter Discipline. So that one, it allows you to shoot twice with any bolt type weapon so he's got a heavy bolter that he could shoot twice with that is horrible so now we're set up what did you plan to do my plan for the leader was to get the point and then dash yeah go around the sides yeah then my bolter and plasma just shoot okay so they they're making a kill zone in the middle what about yeah. this guy then he was going to support the leader yeah so that's your left flank. And what was your right flank doing? There they could shoot or they could get a point. Okay, so you feel like you've got all options covered with your guys. They're in defensive positions. They're ready to go and get the points if they want to. And uh, you think you can stop me from getting in on you, do you, with my hounds and my melee guys? Yes. Well, my side, I felt similarly that I could get the points... But I needed to get my melee guys into combat because they would be able to hold up his guys from shooting. But I did have enough shooting cover from the rest of my kill team. I felt fairly confident. Turning point one. So Ezra had the initiative, so what did you do? I used a c command point in the strategy phrase so I could give my heavy bolter, um, bolter discipline. Very nice, very nice. 
So I use my Space Marines on the right to try and kill his Crute Heavy Gunner. Yeah, so he would have caused you lots of trouble, but you managed to kill him. Really annoying, he didn't even get to shoot. So then my Heavy Bolter shot your hounds. And uh, he was quite successful with his Bolter Discipline, which was really annoying. He managed to kill a hound, and then using his plasma, you shot the other one. But you were scared of your plasma getting hot, weren't you, you yes. big wimp? <laughs> so then my leader and my um, other space marine went to the point and got the objective. Yeah, you captured the objective. First objective captured. And uh, obviously this all happened. We took things in turns, as you do, model by model but we're just covering each side of the story as we go. I basically moved everybody up and then fired back with those that were able to fire. I really like my bow hunter. He did some good wounds on his plasma space marine, causing him to be injured. And then uh, everybody else just fired over on the right hand side, managing to kill one of his marines and injure the other one only for three wounds though so he was still able to use all of his points to move and shoot yeah so it was quite a successful first turning point in terms of i managed to take out one guy but ezra you managed to kill my heavy gunner and injure a hound and kill a hound so not looking good for my melee damage no. turning point one then how do you think you're doing good yeah you did a lot of damage Turning point two. So I had the initiative, but talk us through what you did. So what I did with my space marine is I wanted him to dash in to get a point. On the right side, yeah. Then my sergeant moved in to get the centre point. Yeah, good plan. So then the rest just fired at you. Yeah, and your heavy bolter again used a strategic ploy so he could shoot twice. Horrible, horrible. And this is the result. He knocked out my bow archer. Oh, really, really sad. His uh, plasma also managed to kill the other hound. But it was time for me to get my revenge. So I sent in my pistolier into the middle here because I was thinking he can either get the point or he can move in and shoot his sergeant because he's really good at close range. I moved my tracker and just my croup warrior up on the side because they were going to capture the other point. And then everyone else just shot back at him. So my shooting was quite good. I managed to injure his plasma, taking it down to two wounds, and then also take off six wounds from his sergeant. And uh, that was quite nice. But I did lose my bow hunter. Really sad. My favourite model from this crew, Kinband. And my hound was gone. So it's looking a bit sketchy for both of us. This guy, I forgot about this guy. He climbed up on the side, on the top, because he was going to jump down and take his revenge on those space marines. But Ezra you used your heavy bolter. He spotted him, didn't he? He yes. ripped him to pieces up on the top there. Serves you right for trying to kill him. Yeah, I know. The guy on the top, he was my Crute Cutskin. He's great at melee damage, but has no range at all. So I was trying to sneak in at the top. Turning point three. This was definitely the worst turning point for me. Oh. So I sent everybody in. My pistolier captured a point. My stalker went into the building with his shotgun. And my leader, my broker, was going to face off against his sergeant. But I took some heavy damage. My crude cold blood. My Kroot Pistolier and my Stalker were all killed in the firefight. But it's not all bad. It's not all a sad story because I managed to do some good damage to him. Killing his sergeant, damaging his heavy bolter. How did you feel about that? No. No, I do not have good feelings about this anymore. No, your sergeant going down was a good one, but... I completely missed your guy that was moving in on the right hand side. He was still quite a threat. So my guy on the right, I wanted to get the point and then do some damage. Yeah, so he was sneaking around, wasn't he? And I completely missed it. But something was about to happen that made me really happy. Of course my plasma died. And how did he die? 
His gun got hot and he killed himself. Yep. <laughs> the best thing that I saw in this game was awesome. was so good. I was still incredibly worried about your heavy bolter. Even though he only had four wounds left and he was injured, he was doing some serious damage to me. And, uh, yeah, at this point, I was winning, I think, by two points. Two victory points. So, all to play for at the end. I outnumbered you. I had four guys left, including my leader. And uh, what did you have? Three. One marine and the heavy bolter. And the sneaky guy. Oh, yeah, the sneaky guy. Oh, completely missed him. But things were shaping up well for the last turning point. Everything was on a knife edge, but it was looking like it was going to be a Kroot victory. Do you think you could turn it around in the yes. last turning point? Yes, yes, and yes. Well, we'll see. Your leader's dead. Your whole squad is injured. Turning point four. At this late stage in the game, I was feeling incredibly confident. All I had to do was capture a point, which were now worth double points. Keep my leader alive and make sure I stopped him from capturing a point. He had three guys left, one Marine, one Heavy Bolter, and then Sneaky Guy Marine round the side. So it was all to play for, but, oh no, oh no. He managed to run in with Sneaky Guy, capture the point, kill my leader, and then he died. His Heavy Bolter got killed as well, and then his marine was left. But I wasn't close enough to capture any points. My plan worked. I stopped you from getting a point and I managed to get a point. Yeah, it was a good move in the end. And I can't believe you took out my leader in one go. But very good rolling. <laughs> but I was so happy that I finally took out your heavy bolter. No. Yep, it was a good day. He must have been your your MVP, I think. Yes, he was. It was a really good matchup. Space Marines definitely high armor, good guns, but Crute just the numerical advantage really made an interesting matchup. But did the Space Marines do enough at the end to claw the victory back off the Crutes? Let's have a look at the results then. You got four victory points from objective markers captured, Yay. which is pretty good. Uh, Tac Ops completed, you got four victory points as well. So eight victory points overall. You did really well with the Tac Ops though, completing Headhunter, Challenge and Deadly Marksman. But what did the crew do? I got six victory points for marker captures. Tac Ops only completed two though, which was Bounty Hunter and Bal Balance the Books. <laughs> So, eight points as well. Oh, it's a tie. It's a tie. So, actually, a really solid draw. Battle drawn. Good for our first kill team battle together. That was mm. an awesome match. And um, I think really evenly matched. But still, I killed more than you. Comment below. Who do you think deserved the victory? Definitely me. No, no. Not at all. Comment below, let us know who you think should have won. Well, we had fun along the way and we'd definitely be playing another game of Kill Team. Your painting is also looking awesome, Ezra. Yes. <laughs> well done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, like it. Please subscribe and I will see you in another video. Bye. Thanks for watching Bitsbox World. Builds made easy.